Tropical Storm Debbie is long gone, but damage to area beaches remains. Now some new funding will pour millions of dollars into Venice and Anna Maria Island to preserve one of the area's top visitor draws, those sandy beaches. SNN Local News reporter Grant Foxleitner has more. Venice Beach is scheduled to get a major makeover, thanks to nearly $12 million in federal, state and local funding to re-nourish the sand. Tropical Storm Debbie damaged beaches along the Sun Coast last June. The continued renourishment is very important to, to put a little bit more sand and complete the, the process that's working very well to prohibit more erosion and to continue to preserve our beach. We talked to beach visitors about the pending improvements. Tammy and Boyce Elzer are visiting from Kentucky. We've never been here before, so I really didn't know how it was before. So it's a pretty nice beach. Yeah, I would think you don't keep beaches looking good and keep them attractive for everybody to come, you know, I would think. So I would say it's a good thing. But not all beachgoers notice the need for a makeover. It's such a nice place and there are so many different beaches and uh, they have all the facilities you need as far as the toilets and the bathroom. So I don't see where else they need to invest any resources here. It seems perfect to me. Supporters say renourishing beaches protect environmental, property and tourism interests. When we first did it in 1996, there was no sand. It was amazing how the sand would erode so much during the winter that you could see the riprap. Anna Maria Island in Manatee County is also getting a $20 million restoration, bringing in sand from offshore to fill eroded spots. Reporting on the Sun Coast, Grant Boxleitner, SNN Local News. Venice Beach received $12 million for renourishment eight years ago, but much of that sand has since eroded. Beach improvements at Anna Maria Island are due to begin in September.